Hello, and welcome to another session of Free from the Shadow, which is a samurai PPTA game, which is built on the Free from the Yoke engine, which is in turn built on the Legacy Life Among the Ruins engine. It's a samurai fantasy game. Uh, we played a number of sessions. We skipped for Halloween, uh, and we are uh, back again. Uh, so we are taking up... Uh, sort of in the aftermath of the incidents that we dealt with last time, particularly with Crow Azalea, with the Thunder Dragon, all of all of that kind of thing. Those were the uh, uh, events that happened last time. Uh, before I go too much further, hey, my name is Lowell, pronouns he, him. And this session is part of Open Hearth Gaming, which is an online gaming community. You can find out more about at openhearthgaming.com. Uh, as of this writing, we are just a few days away from our Shared Hearth free open gaming weekend, which is happening November 10th through the 12th. There are still some seats available in that. There will be a link in the show notes. This is something we do, or we in the past, we've done two or three times a year, and we're hoping going forward in 2024 that we will be doing a couple of those. Uh, we're also planning on doing another Star Wars weekend uh, of just games. Uh, built uh, from other systems for, to play out Star Wars uh, and uh, quite possibly doing another uh, uh, game design uh, like workshop weekend with people presenting, running things and then talking with people about those those things. Uh, so we'll see how that that goes, what we what we can get done. Uh, so we had a set of wishes last time i'll just remind us of the ones that that i'll i'll note from that uh one of the wishes was to see what the dragon power means for uh asaka uh and uh what uh uh the completion of the project is going to look like like that's that's a goal is checking in on that and a very specific uh, request was um, uh, a scene between Issei and Asuka. Uh, so what I'd actually like to do is uh, maybe start out with that, with a once around to go, go to our character level uh, and, and let you do call an RP scene, a scene with an NPC or a scene with a PC. Maybe we can establish some more about where, what we see of your, your lives uh, uh, in other contexts. So, uh, Asuka, uh, uh, let's, let's begin with you. Uh, what, what do you want to, what scene do you want to call? What do you want to do, uh, after, after this whole incident with the, uh, the statues and the rebuilding of those and the, the, the thunder dragon and all of that? Be here, I think. Oh, gosh, gosh, we ended at such a crazy place. Um. Well, we'll we'll, we'll move forward some time. No, yeah, that's that is fine. I think that uh, we'll move forward probably. Um, like you. The, the notes have this weird thing that I don't recall, but may have been said about me having to recover where there are surpluses. Or maybe it was just, that was earlier talk about getting surpluses. That was when you were wounded, when you had suffered a number of wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, basically, if you are in a location that has, uh, or, or a monster clan, you have available to you surpluses that would help with healing. Uh, then you heal quite quickly. Okay. Otherwise, you know, uh, heavy wounds take longer to, to heal. Makes sense. Um, let's see here. So I think part of the thing that occurs is probably because we were with the Herald um, that the party ends up going back to um the the sort of uh 
Emperor's Town first that, because the... it's closer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and probably drag to go with us. Do I? And who who do you want to call a scene with? Um <laughs> I think it probably is on that travel path where everything has kind of um, gone, like a lot of things happened, but to Asuka, mostly what it is is she's dealing with the thunder dragon at this point um, and trying to keep everything together. Mm -hmm. um, so I think... Yeah, I think that this is her, you know, essentially when we're camping, you know, maybe that second day out from this place, um, she will come and sit by Dua. And sh she'll say, I I think to you, right? I remember to do that. Certainly, but but no thanks necessary. And she snaps and she goes, no, before you showed up, I could hear the hoofbeats of your approach. I knew something was changing. I was so glad that it was you. I'm, I'm glad I made it in time. Hate to have, hate to have lost you all to this. <sighs> cultists yes she sort of says it particularly the herald and she, she sort of says she kind of leans forward and she goes the dragon its soul is still trying to heal it remembers the wounds it had she goes and she'll sort of go it's trying to regrow the scales on its arm. And she'll kind of go, I am, I don't think that there's any cure for this. Maybe, maybe the, the, those, uh, the, the those that are more more um maybe there's there's someone more in your clan that that would know someone in your clan that would know more sort of steps and she goes perhaps it would be and she sort of kind of goes the dragon are not exactly Tommy they are great, powerful entities of the natural world. Uh, they were the first to communicate with the Kami. They are our superiors in all of the magic. But they are like, and she sort of steps, something altogether different mm -hmm. from us from the Kami. But perhaps. She kind of goes, I'm not sure. I think I just have to wait out the destruction of this cult before I can let go of this soul. I think I think that the 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 dragon will be able to let go if if the, the cult were destroyed. Uh, no, I think it would be safe for it to be reborn mm. if the cult is gone. They're already trying to take its power. Mm. But I could be wrong. You're right. 
I need to speak to people who know more than me. I hope I don't have to go see the Imperial Scholars. And she sort of stops and she goes, but your peoples have traveled a great deal. Haven't they encountered the dragons, one or two of them before? There, uh, there's a there's a shrine that I've I've heard tell of in the the northern deserts that that um might that that was uh said is said to be said to be tied to um to the dragons of old or, or one of them but I I haven't heard uh I haven't been there myself. It's a good idea to go see the shrines of the dragons. You sit in the northern trap, northern desert. Yes, yes. The um, uh, the uh, we 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 might be able to um convince the the uh uh someone from the Dorge to to help us help us get there. Okay. Well, at the very least, I would get to come and visit more of your people, maybe your family. Yes, we could. We could maybe maybe um, uh, travel travel by way of the of the step, and and uh, I would love to love to introduce them to you. That's exciting. Thank well, you. Cut there. Uh, one thing I do want to point out uh, that you should be thinking about, Asuka, mm -hmm. uh, is you have opportunity now that you've kind of completed the task that was drawn from your role yes. to think about in the future about changing your role. And when you do that, uh, you will uh, take an advance. Uh, so mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes. Those roles are on the character playbook, right? Yes. Okay. Or, okay. Uh, Sounds good. So we'll assume you return back. We talked about Odo uh, mm -hmm. uh, staying or returning to uh, repair the, the statues, uh, the Imperial Herald going back. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, Issei, uh, what scene do you want to call? Uh, do you want to do that one with uh, Asuka? Oh, sure. Um, the scene I had in mind would, I guess, be a little further in the future. I sure, involve, we can we, yeah. we can work out out of mm -hmm. out of temporal sequence. Sure. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, I think uh, Issei would send an invitation to Asuka to come visit him uh, at the the seat of Don Chrysanthemum's power, or like in the city, at least. Um, I imagine they're at like a very nice um, sort of tea house kind of thing. There's entertainment um, and good food and drink uh and i have a little move for when we zoom in on don chrysanthemum's holdings i don't know if that applies here sure tell, let's 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 take a look at that uh it's the feature of my clan it's called the jeweled city uh you've made the seat of your clan a thing of beauty when the game zooms in on your clan's land describe the beauty of the place or festival taking place yeah that seems yeah. perfect yeah uh, um, so, so so what is it and what what stat do you think it's affected yeah i don't know that there's a festival happening right now in fact i think things are unusually somber or comparatively somber i guess mm -hmm. um given that a great champion has just died he says brother died last session um but still it's like there's a music everywhere all the time even if it's more subdued um there are 
lights, these sort of eternal, maybe even like magical flames that uh, dance and lanterns all about the city. Um, and the city itself is, you know, it's all canals and beautiful like wooden bridges and um, purple wisteria hanging from, from vines and whatnot. Um, and I think it's a place that stimulates the the senses and the the intellect. Um, I think uh, cunning will have advantage here. Um, I think you say sitting across from from Oscar with a, a cup of of tea in hand. Um, he looks beautiful as usual, but pale in a way that like almost reminds you of a ghost. Like he's a little bit less tethered to this world somehow, and he looks very serious, um, concerned perhaps. Let me ask you this before you you say your reaction or anything like that. Asuka, what does Issei see? I think what he has, what he says, Asuka, and she, she's always worn sort of maybe a little bit heavier a cloth like the the silk is always thicker silk because of the shugenja implements that they carry and things like that so things are, are more sturdy than uh than ornamental a lot of times uh but now on her right arm there's almost like a second sleeve that she's put over the sleeve um and it's decorated nicely and stuff but she has a strange what appears to be a bracelet but so far as he has seen, it goes up a ways up her wrist. Um, and it's copper, but there's like the Verde Gras on it. And, but it has like a real, like the copper itself has a real shine to it. And the green of the Verde Gras is It's a sort of unusually deep green. Does it seem noticeably like mystical or is it just? Probably a little bit. It mm. certainly, it looks like the, the, uh, the motif of it is scales, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. it, um, yes. Um, and she's, You've noticed, Asuka, notice it, like that the wrist is exposed and you, you'll you see her put her hand down like beneath the table, sort of. She asks. How is your family holding up? I know that your loss was great. Yours in particular. It's very gracious of you to ask. Um, my family will survive this. I will survive this. My concern, I suppose, is greater in scale. And these signs of the foe's return, power like that, and corruption like that, it's tenacious. Have you, have you seen anything that I should be aware of? She leans forward and Oscar usually is very not very unserious, but here she 
she speaks very quietly. She doesn't want others to hear it. And she says, when we went to midnight, there were so many that the three cultist mages had corrupted. Uh, it is hard to, to, to think back at it. And I mean, it must have been three or four or full villages of folks who had been changed and then marched over to this place. And the only reason that we knew to go there were just little strands of rumors. If it hadn't been for Kenta picking up on it, it might have been weeks or months more before someone had gone. Certainly was not prepared for what was there. And you weren't hurt. We were all hurt. His gaze very subtly like flits down to that hand that you hid under the table. And and she kind of nods a little bit. I I will I am much changed. But that has less to do with what needs to happen soon. Excuse me. I think that the Emerald Emperor's roads are important. That we need better communication so that they can't set up out in the remotes and bring their power up so easily without anyone being able to see them. Yes, stamp out the shadows where they hide. Exactly. But still, just three mages. And <clears throat> I believe it also important to stamp out the shadows within ourselves. Um, my my clan has found a, a dark sort of motivation in this, a, a chance to prove our righteousness once and for all. But looking closer to home, I I know that misdirect, misdirected passion is the foe's plaything. And, and he's looking very seriously, like directly in Oscar's eyes. Um, I suppose I do not wish my heart to continue to burn with an ember that might grow to become a ruinous flame. So I must ask uh, one last time, despite our parents' wishes, could you still love me? She gives the very first moment I saw you, I did. I still do. You lost your brother in my sense of these things, and your twin, too. It must feel like losing part of your soul. In my time at midnight, I gained another soul and a huge responsibility. And she sort of stops and she goes, I'm going to tell you a thing. And then she sort of stops and she drinks tea. She goes, when the dragon of thunder died, his soul settled inside of me with my own. 
My duty now is to protect it. I think he even like mouths the words to protect. Like once you say your duty, he's like, okay, yeah, I, I got it. I know. Um, and he'll nod um, sort of solemnly, like he's feeling a kind of loss or a kind of death all over again. Well, it's an answer I can't refute. It's quite rare that I don't have the words. To say we could make it work. But I am not my own, not even just my clans anymore. And I'm really just a vessel. I just have to live until this is taken care of. Far be it from me to stand in the way of her duty. I'm wondering, I have my move where I can read someone's web of connections. Is that legit to use here? Are you cool with that, Sherry? Yeah, sure. Sherry. Sure. Uh, um, okay, so I roll with cunning with advantage. My cunning is... Um, so that's actually a nine. Okay. Um, on a hit, the player will reveal who they are closest to and a secret they would prefer remain hidden. Um, and on a seven to nine, uh, you're aware that I'm uncovering the secret. Interesting. <laughs> I like that, that you kind of are doing that look and I go, and she looks at you and she goes, I know you're doing that thing. <laughs> I can speak and, and bargain with Kami, but I can't see people the way you see people. And I think you get, she is so deeply saddened by this that she can't that she can't say that this is something that we can she won't say that she loves you in that thing not because of duty to family she does love you but she thinks right now she has to die in order for the Thunder Dragon soul to pass on. And she does not want you to have to be part of that. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, I think we see this sort of shadow across Issei's face as he realizes this truth, but like he can't bring himself to say it either. It's like this this elephant that like plops itself down on the table between them and doesn't leave for the rest of the night kind of thing. Nice. Let's cut to Takashi Orojiro. Uh, what, what scene would you like to call either with a PC or an NPC? So... Uh, I think I mentioned in the last session that Takashi had completed his role as well and yeah. wasn't present for the previous zoom in. So th there's a bunch of things to potentially resolve there. I was looking at taking, uh, let me look at the roles again. And the merchant, I was looking at taking the loyal role 
Okay. And what I was thinking is that Takashi has probably been investigating this cult as clandestinely as he can get away with because they kind of sent a very clear message uh, that he should stay away. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what I was hoping for or, or what I would like to do is to have him discover something about the clan, uh, d discover something about the cult that he should be acting on, but he's prevented from doing so because it is somehow going to implicate Tomoroku, who is the rival for the ghost iris daimyo, but still part of the clan. So he wants to confront Toma to potentially either to give him the courtesy of of disengaging from the cult uh, or, or to, to clean house before uh, he kind of uh, takes that next step. Um, which, depending on on Toma's on, uh, yeah, Toma Ruka's plans and involvement could cause a serious problem um, or it might be appreciated or it might be yeah, it could be interesting so what do you think it is like what is his entanglement what has he used them for or what has been the arrangement there I think he so I, I could see this going one of two ways. Either he is deliberately connected to the cult and is supporting them because it the the lack of progress in in defeating them makes Masuro Tajiro, the current daimyo, look weak, and so it strengthens his position because he can argue about it and say, "Why aren't you doing something about it?" Um, Alternatively, he may be completely innocent in this, and it might be some kind of uh, like a right hand kind of person that is is doing that for the same reason, and Toma is unaware that they're doing it. Well, there's only one way to find out. You've yes. heard heard rumors. You you've heard about this. You've picked this up in your works, uh, uh, in your travels, but you know the clan despite its good position, there's a sort of unsteadiness, especially when it comes to, to the cult. So is this something where you would go to his household to speak with him, or would you encounter him at the, the central court? Where, where does this happen? I would go to his household. I don't want to risk the chance of it being intercepted so it's not something i could put in a put in a letter or put in a place where the clan does not have control uh and if i try and engineer a meeting in any other way like i i don't know that takashi is high up enough to try and summon the head of one of the families mm -hmm. um so, yeah so you arrive uh you certainly you know uh, the clan does rely on you and you have been involved in uh, some uh, strong uh, positive actions, and and the clan is is doing uh, okay. You've got a very good mood. Your imperial favor isn't that great, but certainly people are in good shape. Uh, so uh, Roku will. Uh, will, will, will greet you and is perhaps a little puzzled seemingly about why you have have called on him and he will will say that he will say has our daimyo sent you here with a message is that why you are here takashi no i am here of my own accord, uh, out of courtesy and respect. You are, of course, aware of this cult that's been plaguing our peoples and the entire empire, but it, it is it is an issue which is important to me and which I wish were more important to the family as a whole. 
we are perhaps lured by by coin and art and these things and we are not looking to places where corruption can find their way in well it has been of priority to me as a member of the clan i agree it is important that we are strong as we face the future and that requires that we look for places where corruption can enter. I have discovered in my investigations some connection between this cultist group and the Roku family. Affect goes flat. And you have come here by yourself to bring me this news? I thought it best that it be done quietly and to give you an opportunity to present the best front when the time comes to stamp out this cult, it would be best if the clan were not connected. Your phrasing is very interesting to me, Takashi. Now, let me ask you this, Takashi. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you are more trying to suss out to read if he is deeply involved or are you more about trying to get him to follow a course of action right now and they're not mutually exclusive you might start with one and move to the other but there's a there's a question there i think because um hmm. I think Takashi is more interested in getting him to follow a specific course of action, which is to cut ties with the cult. Um, whether or not that is, whether or not those are deliberate ties, I think it is a case of Takashi feels he has worked quite hard to improve the favor of the clan with the Imperial Court, and he does not want to see that jeopardized by a uh, a negative association with this cult. So it's one of those uh, like. I'm going to close my eyes, and when I open them, I really hope that the stolen item has been put back, yeah. and I'm not really going to ask any questions. So, yeah, let's do find common ground. Let's have you roll with cunning. Okay. Uh, hang on, because I did have another thing here. Let me just check. I know that would be for Disarm, so I'm not going to Cunning that, is... That'll be if it goes terribly wrong. Yes, exactly. Uh, cunning is a plus two. So let me put that in and roll. Nine. Let me find the move. Aha. Okay. They'll only do it if... So I need to pick two. Oh, no. The player, meaning me, needs to pick two. Oh, you! Yes, yes. please. I need your assurance that you are not doing this, not coming here with this conversation, not moving in this way, as a means to discredit me or my family. I just need your word, your assurances that you come here truthfully in this. My only objective 
is to ensure the good name of our clan, and that means every member. It is in my best interests if this conversation does not leave this room. If push comes to shove, and it becomes clear that the only way to properly deal with this cult is with the whip hand that I can provide, will you back me? And in this sense, he's not asking you to do it. He's, he's this is kind of reveal your, your your full agenda. Like he's asking you, like if it came to that, would you be willing if to it's... turn your back on Masuda Odojiro for the sake of the clan? I will do whatever is best for the clan. Tomoroku. You and I will remember those words. Mm -hmm. I have heard what you have said today. I have not heard any accusations. I have heard a gentleman of sharp wit and keen eye who has come and brought me discreet information. I will make use of that information to deal with the cleaning of things. You are excused, Takashi. Thank you for your hospitality, Tamaruku. And he will, will eye you as you leave. I, I I suspect there's a certain amount of tension throughout the the walking out, the 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 wondering if this is where you get the arrow in the back kind of thing mm -hmm. before you ride away. Yeah, I suspect he holds a breath until leaving the entire <laughs> the uh, <district>. building. <laughs> the district. Like yes. Until he's back on the open road. <laughs> and even then. Uh do a uh what scene would you like to call um i think that um i was kind of thinking about this anyway and then asuka gave me such a nice opening that we'll 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 roll with it um i was gonna have do a sort of coming home to uh his family on the step after having been out traveling for you know sig sort of significant periods um, and since Asuka is uh, already headed that way with me, then we'll um, do that together. Okay. Uh, yeah. What is your home camp location town like? Yeah. Um, so I think the, um, you know, I think it's it's sort of out you know it's out in the in the steps um it's a i think what you've i think it's the, the his particular camp is set up um kind of on a um on a hillside with um they've got maybe a ring of um i don't know four or five sort of big uh yurts set up around with like a central um you know, fire slash eating area. Um, there's probably, you know, uh, Dua's family plus a couple of other, um, a couple of other sort of clan, uh, you know, family groups um, there. Uh, you know, and it's a lot of, it's a big, um, you know, it's a big range of ages. You've got, you've got the kids running, you know, the, the, the young kids running around, you've got sort of the, the older kids out, you know, probably out, you know, tending some of the herds um and you know they'll they'll come back in um later in the later in the day you've got um 
you know, both, you know, the the sort of the uh the the elders um in the family groups uh perhaps around, you know, maybe maybe um working on fixing up some fixing clothes or or sort of doing other craft stuff kind of closer closer to the uh um closer into the, the the camp making some food um, uh absolutely and you will uh, uh arrive there your family will be be pleased to see you have you know your older person you have some some older uh uh children who are still present and working who will will uh come out to see you the you know and uh the the grandchildren of course will uh swirl around uh expecting treats uh, uh since you've been to the to the wondrous things but i also think that 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 here is a a, a willowy shugenja uh of the the crow azalea clan uh and People are kind of uncertain how they are to to uh, honor this guest. I mean, they prepare the basic guest thing, but but uh, I, I do think your wife uh, comes over and says, is, "Is this a very important person? Should we? This, this, what, what what what? You didn't send word before. Is this a, is this a diplomat? Is this the leader of the Croatia? She's very young to be a leader. She, she's a friend. We 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 we've, we've met in our travels, and uh, uh, she we. Well, we can welcome her as family. Oh, good, good, good. That makes things much easier. <laughs> yes, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring home, I wouldn't bring home the, the, you know, any, any emissaries uh, without, without sending, sending word ahead. You say that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they will, will kind of uh, swirl around, and I think there is that bit where, uh, you're a very different Shugenja than the Shugenja that they have here. Uh, uh, and I, I think as we've established before, uh, you are hearing, uh, Asuka, the voices of the Kami who are in this area and like, what's, who, who is, who are you, who are you, who are you? And then then you see the, they, they all get quiet as if they've all realized something. Uh, and then they all kind of back away. You are muted. And I think Asuka's been experiencing that through that time. And she says, you don't have to worry, little ones. I have a bargain with this one. They will stay with me until I pass the mortal coil. They will not trouble you. So, do what do you think is the important part about the 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 time, the interaction that you have here with with Asuka? So, I think um, I think there's a few things. So, I think uh, Dua is going to try and see if he can, you know, talk to um, you know some of the some of the. I think maybe there's a there's an older um, Shugenja in the in the camp, um, and so I think he's going to sort of um, talk to her and sort of uh, see what she might have heard about this um, the the shrine to the heavenly worm, which is this this shrine up in the northern desert, um, you know, and and both see, uh, you know, he's sort of trying to trying to figure out, you know, is this a is this something that that might help Asuka, and also how do we get there, and sort of you know what's the um, you know, who, who might they know in that, in that area that, sure. that could help. Let's, let's start with a study role. Great. Study the thing I'm excellent. Actually do is do is <laughs> study yeah. the lore, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Two D six minus one. Uh, that's a nine. That is a nine. Okay. Uh, so you have, one hole to ask a question uh, or declare a detail. Okay. Um, hmm.
I'm I'm torn because I sort of have a couple of things. I I I, I want I, I it's on the one entirely hand, up to you. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to refer to for there to be something worthwhile going to this shrine at. That, However, that, oh, that, that that's certainly could be the statement that you want to make. Do you want there to be something positive there, potential well, there? Right. I I think so. So the, the the reason I'm torn is that I also kind of want to have. I I kind of want to be declaring a complication as well of you know that area is you know we've talked about um, forget where early in the the description that of there being sort of these raiders from the outside and so I'm I sort of want there to also be a an element of danger up in that you know that the the they've they've heard of um, so I think what I think that I think the detail I'm going to declare is that there has been a um, there's been reports of sort of heavy incursion in that area by some of these sort of forces from outside the, the empire. Again, you will say this place is known to us. Whether it is exactly what you are looking for is unclear, but you should know that the there is a danger there. If you travel past the realms that the empire controls, that our people control, into a range where there have been forces from the outside. Kind of, I, I assume this is done in the presence of uh, uh, Asuka. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Shikenja will turn to you and say, you could go there. But it may not be the answer that you seek. Problem, there are many answers. But it seems a worthwhile endeavor to find one that is outside of my own set of experiences. You will have to wait until next spring. The winds come down howling out of the passes. But uh, if you do this, there there is a chance and it will give you time because even I can see that you are not fully healed. It's true. If you take this expedition, you will have to commit yourself to this. I, we, yeah, we, 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 if, if there's a, if there's a hope, if there's a chance that, um, this will be the the help that Asuka needs. Then I will I will take her there. Shikenju pauses and says, "Do not forget that your life is not your own. It belongs to your daimyo." Of course, of course, you're right. I will I will consult. Um, you've been headstrong. You've been headstrong in the past, so. Be certain about these things. Uh, all right, let's uh, take our first break here, and then we will continue on. I think what we're uh, be going for is uh, probably moving to that court phase and and doing the 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 court at that point. So, uh, uh, take ten, and then we will come back. So. Uh, I think, as we talked about last time, we are going to move to the end of the year and the holding of the Imperial Court. Last time, the Imperial Court was held it at Crow Azalea. Uh, so the question I'm going to put to our 
uh, to Issei and our Dawn Chrysanthemum clan, who amongst a couple of people have a plus two favor with the Imperials. Where do you think the Imperial Winter Court will be held this year? Will it be held in your lands or somewhere else? Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, let's say it's held on our little island. Um, I feel like the emperor might do that to to honor um, Haruki and the others that fell to that cultist attack. Absolutely, they would. That the there is a certainly the emperor will wear white for the first week of attendance to sort of demonstrate the solemnity of these things. Uh, 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 what What is the uh, like theme or feature or special style that the Dawn Chrysanthemum will put on here in this this very raucous very entertaining uh as you put it earlier kind of casino city i think that both as a symbolic show of strength of the empire um, and a specific nod to um, to Haruki and his accomplishments. Uh, there's like a, a week-long du dueling tournament um, that's going on and leading up to the Winter Court. Um, yeah, and it, it's, it's less of, you know, uh, it really has a theatrical element to it mm -hmm. where it's less militaristic and more like uh, this showcase of the beauty of these uh, various sword forms and and dueling schools. We we see all the the different schools that uh, uh, have been. Uh, uh, and then this is a question: Is uh, like tell us about one of the schools that maybe we haven't yet seen on screen that you've come up with. Uh, sure. Um, there is a school called the Bright Path, um, and we see like a, a brief shot of the, the tournament arena. Um, that's all like awash in these uh, lanterns, this light. Um, and as the combatants um, take their places on the, the sort of dueling stage, uh, we see them make these like intricate gestures with their hand that... Um, that seem to like draw the light from the lanterns and suddenly the arena is plunged into darkness oh. except for um, the sort of weapons of pure bending light that have now formed in the, in the fighter's hands. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, when we see the delegation for ghost Iris, what do we notice about them? Is it the daimyo and their rival? Is it just the daimyo? Is it representatives of the, the daimyo? Is there a particular theme or approach or gift that they have brought? What do you think? Um, I think the, the thing that most people would notice is that they are all armed. But not, not of, not like they look like they're ready for battle, but more that they are ready for anything. That there is, uh, they they will always carry a weapon because we never know when it will be needed. Mm -hmm. uh, and I suspect that uh, none of them participate in the in the dueling tournament. Mm -hmm. Although they make sure that they are are present out of respect for Don Chrysanthemum, but none of them fight. Interesting, interesting. Uh, uh, what what are the colors of Ghost, Ghost Iris like? 
Um, I think I've been treating it as blue and white. I'm okay. sure I had a note about this somewhere. Yeah, no, <laughs> but I, I don't I, know where it is. Yeah, uh, I think that 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 makes sense. Like a, a lighter blue, something that that is uh, a little more yeah. kind of pale towards the ghostly. Okay. Uh for brass wisteria, what do we see? What is your delegation here at the winter court? What do they look like? Um. So I think the. Uh, I think the 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 arrival is that the the sort of the delegation's arrival is um uh I'm not trying to think of the right word um notable um uh, because it is a it is a fairly large group and it is it it you know it's it's a it's a traveling um I guess a, a almost a a wagon train sort of thing it's 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 got representatives from all of the families and mm -hmm. all of their assorted mounts and you know so you you know the, there's a bit of a, a production trying to you know figure out where do we where do we stable all of them and how do you know this um and i think they end up uh kind of camping in you know on the outskirts of the city uh these the sort of retinues um in part just because it's you know the the, the logistics are challenging with, between the, the cats and the lizards and the horses um you know the horses sort of blend in but the other ones are a little bit uh maybe maybe less um less appreciated uh the the actual you know like when it when it comes to court um i think um archive is flanked by um you know she she has sort of her her close advisors um from the other families uh with her um but is is sort of clearly uh clearly in control and sort of in the, the one the one kind of making the decisions but but consulting with some, you know some of the the um maybe some of the elders from the other families um excellent uh, and uh, was something else yeah i was going to say unlike um ghost iris the the uh the brass wisteria representatives uh, partake um, enthusiastically, although perhaps of uh, of mixed ability, depending on the the dueling uh, modes involved. Um, I think I think certain dueling modes have not made it out to the uh, out to the the outer reaches of the empire, and 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 yet the the representatives of brass wisteria, you know, throw themselves into it with great vigor and and you know enjoyment uh if not perhaps a lot of success yeah. i think that you have a surplus of respect so there are you've built that up and so there are people that are willing to to entertain what might otherwise be perceived perhaps as as a little amateurish uh, uh in their works uh and crow azalea what about for you what is what is your family's attendance look like um i think I think that they come mainly where you very much have the feeling that this is a set of um, of symbolic people who have been sent mm -hmm. um, rather than uh, the clan as a whole coming to enjoy the festivities and things like that. In fact, there's a feeling like that they're actually restrained, that there's maybe a big project going on back there. And so essentially, of course, the daimyo is there um, and a probably not the, the top uh, shugenja of the different kind of groups of Kami that would typically be there, their seconds or maybe even the thirds, but someone, all of them are people who have had experience with fighting the the corrupted, which is notable for the Shugenja because it's like a very dangerous thing to do because of course if you're corrupted, then the Kami that you, you know, so, right. so the thing is, is that is very striking and you get that thing of these are the more war uh, anti- um, a cult shugenja but the other thing is is that uh, a sort of guest of honor who's not in very good health yet is uh, um, Kaitanaka 
So essentially the mentor. Mm -hmm. um, if anything else, just as a nod to the Herald, um, all respect is given to the emperor, but also respect to the the Herald in particular. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we will move to the holding court uh, segment of our program. Uh, we'll start with uh, Dawn Chrysanthemum. Uh, and uh, you have a choice. You have, when we zoom out to the clan level, and you didn't have a character, you ran a secondary character in that uh, last scene. So if you wish, you may take advantage on this move, uh, or you can save it for the next clan move that you wish to do, because this is kind of an odd little area. Oh, interesting. Um, let me look at what I would get from succeeding yeah. at this move really sure. quickly. A power game. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll take advantage on this move. Okay, let's have you go ahead and roll. And I'm rolling with my favor. Yes. Oh, yes. So, uh, roll three dice plus two. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, a that is a solid twelve. Uh, let me look here. Uh, so I think this, this is your, your clan. This is the winter court being held in their, uh, lands. Uh, and, uh, I think that. The emperor says, we have heard that you have done much this year. You were able to secure resources uh, in spite of things. You were uh, able to uh, assist in many ways. Uh, and we wish to publicly acknowledge the sacrifice that your family has made. And we would have it that your family will be the caretakers for a yearly contest, a yearly duel for an office of the empire someone to come and stand by us and you will have that uh you will oversee that mid-year and uh all honor will be granted to you for that and uh they they make this proclamation very publicly uh out out in front of everyone and uh, your family will take surplus respect Fantastic. Next up is our Ghost Iris Clan. Uh, you also uh, uh, did not appear, so you may also choose whether you wish to roll with advantage uh, or not. I will definitely take it because... <laughs> okay. uh, my favor is at zero. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a five. That's uh two three one on the dice. It Amazing. He is. Uh that would be bad in almost every system. Uh mm -hmm. maybe not GURPS. Uh so uh I think that the Daimyo and the, the 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 senior people who are brought forward, uh there will be a conversation that will happen 
there uh, in which the emperor speaks of disturbing rumors that have reached her ears that cultists of the foe remain very active amongst your lands and that is disturbing you have contributed much uh, and actually I need to back up here I'm actually going to stop here I need to actually roll back end of the year you would gain one favor remember because you delivered a surplus. Mm -hmm. So your uh, your favor will actually be plus one. Which so, will bring me to a six. Which will bring you to a six. Well, I'll have you re-roll. I always do that when we get a, a number error. So go ahead and re-roll. We'll see if we can keep your luck terrible. Should we also take the progress clock? Yes. Okay. That's better. That is an 11. That is an 11. <sighs> so you dodged that particular arrow. Uh, let me look at the Imperial favor thing again. We have worries about trade. Perhaps a source of some disturbance, certainly the events that happened at midnight and at the memorial. We would have you make sure for this year to oversee the security of Shadow Valley. That it is not utilized by nefarious forces that that the smugglers, the other people, they are less important to us, but the, those who are engaged in nefarious activities, we want that place to be safe for the year to demonstrate that the that the emperor can put her hand down in a place and say, this is safe. Do you think that is something that you can do, Masuda Orojiro? It would be our honor, Emperor. Then that is what I ask you to do. Make sure that throughout this year, that place remains safe. Uh, and that brings us to the Grass Wisteria clan. Uh, your favor right now is a plus two. Uh, so that's an eight. That is an eight. So let me look at this. Well, let's do this. Here comes the roller. I assume there's no impact in going over plus two favor because I was realizing that I think at the last court. Brass Wisteria was tasked with solving the, the the mystery or or handling the threat of mm -hmm. the vanishings, which they did. Yeah, I don't believe that there is a, a benefit for going over the 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 plus yeah. two uh, favor. It's 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 not like a apocalypse apocalypse world like rolls back to minus two or right. something. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> one of my least favorite but mechanics uh so your clan will be brought in and they will say there is a dispute that we have heard happening between some of the borderlander tradespeople, those sort of outside of your family's reign, uh, and Onyx Plum, that there have been some mutual instances of skirmishes and disagreements, and we fear that that may light a fire. And we wish that to be taken care of and those flames to be calmed. Uh, if you can do that, we will consider that uh, an honor and a gift to the Empire. Certainly, we will we'll, uh, reach out and take care of take care of that. Excellent. Smooth, smooth waters. And last but not least, uh, uh, the, the 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 cat clutching uh, uh, clan. Uh, uh, Don Chrysanthemum, no, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Crozelia. Crozelia, uh, you have a favor of plus one. And of course, uh, I think that we will speak out in favor of the emperor. Uh, times have been difficult, but the direction has been clear, and the road is will be a significant boon to the security of the empire. Uh, so you will roll that uh, with advantage, I believe, then? With advantage, and or yes. So, so adding plus one and rolling with advantage. Yeah, so sorry. I got to do this very carefully around the cat. <laughs> the cat has very strong opinions. Okay. And then I add one. So seven, eight. An um, eight. Yeah, at least it's not an out and out failure. It so, is not an out and out failure. Which I was expecting. <laughs> it was trying to do it. I, I was certainly expecting that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Given well, your previous roles. Exactly. Uh, so. Empress has this meeting quietly with your clan. And they will say, we wish you to locate another dragon. and see if they will be willing to engage in trade. Empress has had a vision that trading with the dragon will bring them success. And they've come to you because they are aware that amongst your family, you have one who is tied intimately to the dragons. This is the request that we put to you, Kimura Kenji. Is that something that you can do? And I think that he he nods, but first he actually looks at Kai Tanaka just to see. 
since that was the mage who actually had been trying to protect the um the dragon of thunder um and and tanaka will say there there are other dragons in the land uh but we must divine very carefully we must consult the omioji as to which ones are at this point in their lives of a kind to speak with us. And yeah, and I think then that, um, you know, they will agree, bow, step out, looking a little grim. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and you know you uh, there's some of the rumor of this goes around uh let's let's see how if we may uh I think we kind of probably need to establish that I think the imperial scholars maintain their kind of standard neutral position they're still uh in favor uh as are the ronin uh as are onyx plum the only one of the families that kind of gets pushed out a little bit that gets frozen out uh, uh is uh, eternal sakura clan uh and uh, as a result everyone will gain influence on uh, the Eternal Sakura minor faction. They are obliged to try to do what they can to regain their position this year. You're not sure what happened, uh, but clearly something occurred behind the scenes that perhaps a failure of a task that was set to them uh, but they have not not done as well as as they might otherwise. Um, what you will hear is that supposedly they were supposed to craft a new piece of imperial regalia uh, using their talents as 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 crafters and magically gifted, uh, and apparently had a remarkable failure. Uh, so let's take up. Uh, I I think that it seems more likely than sort of the wandering uh, uh, meeting each other that, that you say you might bring your friends together. Does that seem fair? Uh, yeah. Uh, so tell, tell us what your household looks like. Ooh. I think as a show of trust, um, he'll receive everyone in the sort of, um, like where the the daimyo operates from, um, I think it's kind of on a hill that sort of overlooks this a beautiful illuminated city, as perhaps the the sun is beginning to set and dusk is settling on the island. Um, it's still like almost as bright as it was in the morning. Nice. And um, the interior of this place is all, um. I think the colors of of dawn chrysanthemum are are like a kind of lavender purple and gold mm. um so there's a lot of uh sort of gold fixtures um the uh the flooring is made of this sort of uh purple crystal it's all very like glittering and gleaming and and opulent yeah uh uh and and uh, what is your impression of this place, Takashi? Have you been here before? Are you used to this kind of thing? Uh, uh, what what are your thoughts? 
Um, yeah, I think I don't think Takashi has been here before, and I think he is uh, somewhat in awe of the the being a merchant in the amount of money that it would take to have built such a thing in the first place. Uh, and Dua, uh, uh, what 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 are your thoughts here? Uh, I I think um, uh, the the invitation from from Ise came uh, to Dua as he had after as as he had was just coming back from um, being out out riding and um, and so he has not fully cleaned up and is is maybe tracking a little a little dirt and is is feeling a little looking a little sheepish at that having you know sort of misjudged the um the the formality of having been invited you know to to uh in, invited in by ise um mm -hmm. uh but you know i think so i think he's i think he's looking a little sheepish but also just sort of uh very much taking in the the sites um and yeah uh, and and we know from backstory uh asaka uh i'm gonna mispronounce your name every damn time there we okay. go just 400 different pronunciations exactly i got Maybe it wrong to start and it's just gonna keep going down that road i'm gonna find a new mispronunciation each time because i'm from the midwest so uh <laughs> so let me ask you this. You've been to this place before. You've been yes. here before. Here's the question I have for you. What is different about the kami that are here on the island as opposed to the kami that you're used to back home? Um, so one of the things is these kami are far more like there are people and people from all over swirling around this island. It's like in some ways, people have a lot more impact on their life. These kami are the most gossipy little kami you have ever heard. And they're gossiping about the people. And so they literally, when they find someone who will listen to them, they're all gathering around Asuka and telling her all sorts of things that they have seen. Um, and they don't know the names, they don't know the thing. And then when they describe someone, they go, the one with the, the you know, 20th biggest nose or something like just like in impossible for her to understand exactly who they're talking about. Um, but they just have the most ridiculous stories and, you know, and and they can and they want to tell her where someone's dropped money so she can go and pick it up and things like that. So they're very, <laughs> just, just all sorts of silly things. I'm picturing the the uh, gossiping dark oils from uh, what we do in shadows there a little bit. That's, so that's pretty, yeah. So, but but also like very fortune and luck. Like even the the kami that aren't fortunate and luck, they talk about that a lot. Okay. So. So you say you have you have a chance to to impress your friends and, and show this off and provide them a good time. And I think that's the scene that we come in is is with the four of you seated around uh might see lanterns outside perhaps fireworks uh in the distance uh and your household uh you know putting on their best and providing a food and drink for your guests uh and so when we come in what what are you saying to your to your companions you say I will first say Chibi Sabu, he didn't invite them here to impress them. Like Sure, sure. Okay. This is this is normal to him, right? Like okay. he doesn't even register that it's like exceptionally fancy. Um and I think uh he will have said to to do a noticing his state, um that like you know, if you're if you're sore from writing, I can arrange for you to avail yourself of the private baths later. Implying, of course, that Dua is a little shabby looking for the surroundings, <laughs> but <laughs> um, but being quite nice about it, uh, in his mind at least. Um, but I think, yeah, what is he talking about? Is it is it matters of 
what happened at the court? Is it uh, about the dueling tournament? Is it about what what's coming this next year? What do you think? A question for Sherry. Um, would you say no that everyone in this group knows about her dragon thing? I don't think I've told Takashi that, but um, but we could. I have no problem with assuming that. In fact, she probably did. It's a secret, but of course, she would tell um her close friends. So of course, Takashi. Um, you know, it's not. She's not like a professional secret keeper like like you are. So. <laughs> Okay, good. I did. I didn't want him to to out your secret without um without your permission. Um, yeah. I think as soon as the the last servant leaves the room and closes the door, leaving us all alone, Issei will lean in and say, "Um, I am pleased that the ceremonies today went off without a hitch, but we must turn our matters to more important things." Asuka still carries the soul of a thunder dragon within her. And while the responsibility and the honor is great, I don't think it's one that she should have to bear if she doesn't want to. the alternatives well I was hoping that the, the four of our sharp minds might figure that out mm -hmm. well we're, we we have a we have an expedition uh planned well I I need to I need to talk with Archai about it but but I'm I I hope we can we can make the journey up to the um the shrine of the the shrine of the worm in the north and see uh perhaps perhaps find some aid there from other shugenja from you say knows nothing about <laughs> the mystical or <laughs> whenever the conversation veers in that direction it's like suddenly he's out of his depth and that happens quite rarely i know that the situation has raised a certain amount of interest within the family about the things, and they are looking into negotiations with other dragons. So perhaps that will open up some avenues. But I have mentioned the Elder Worm Shrine to my family, and they seem amenable for going to look into that. But we don't know what it is. People often associate value with what they have. But true value is in what you need. What you have is only a value if it can get you what you need. You have the soul of a dragon. Mm -hmm. What do you need, Asuka? need to make sure that I can send it on safely outside of the touch, the range, the reach of the corruptors. And who needs the soul of a dragon? She sort of stops and she goes, the dragon. But it is also a source of great power, at least to the cult. So we need to find another buyer. It's she sort of she sort of gasped when you see this. <laughs> what do you this mean? is just <laughs> this is just Takashi framing everything in terms of being a merchant. Like, right. 
there may be someone else that has need of a dragon spirit that will treat it with the respect that it deserves. If we can find such a group, individual, then perhaps you could pass it on and get whatever you need out of it. Okay. But it'd have to be someone we trusted. Not very many people I would trust with it. Perhaps another dragon? Oh. <laughs> At some point it has to be reborn, and I'm not sure how that all goes. So perhaps, yes. Do you know another dragon? I do not. But right. perhaps then what we need is to find a dragon that has been reborn and ask it some questions. Respectfully, of course. Okay. I mean, you made it sound so easy. It was a short little sentence, but I, <laughs> I, I, I've never heard mention of a dragon being reborn before. So I think it means we'll have to go to the books, the scrolls, the old stories. Yeah. Or ask a dragon if they know of any reborn dragons. Now we're back to the problem of finding a dragon. Or multiple dragons. <laughs> we need to find one that's reborn as well. Well, not a Kami lead us there. One that knows the cycles of life and death. And, and, you, and I think you see Asuka go, ah, uh, yeah, that is, that is certainly one of the Kami. And she sort of stops and says, I. Now, some Shugenja who are familiar with those? Mostly the lesser, but one who I think speaks to one of the greater Kami. If it's at all possible, we must try. We have to exhaust every option. All right. I'll also, as Kenta, if the Imperial Scholars might have information that would be useful, do not wish to be beholden to them, but if they have something, it may be necessary. She looks more nervous about dealing with the Imperial Scholars than she does the dragons or the kami, so. So let's, let's take our second break. Let's take a short break. And when we come back, uh, I might check on some character moves before we move out to the, to the clan level. Uh, uh, there might be some unearthed forgotten lore or getting access to things or 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 whatnot so uh let's take five and we'll be back so uh asika uh what is it that you would like to do you have uh some things i know you have way of the wind which gives you a bonus on or an earth forgotten lore or do you want to do it as a general study? I, I I have the sense that you want to to get information kind of on that character level. Does that seem right? Okay. Muted. Dang it. Sorry. Yes, I agree with you. I think that doing it on the sort of more personal level makes sense. Okay. 
then how would I do? Would I approach this with, with study or with uh, unearthed forgotten lore about like about the dragon? How about unearthed forgotten lore? Okay. Uh, so you always roll unearthed forgotten lore with advantage. All right. And the thing you add to it is lore. Lore, I believe. Mm -hmm. So add lore to my forgotten lore. That yes. is excellent. It's a dialectic. It is. I'm adding, I'm rolling three to six, picking the best two and adding two. So that's a 13. So that is a 13. So mm -hmm. when we look at that uh, here, that means character level. Uh, so you're going to get the additional results from Way of the Wind. You get some extra questions which you can modify to fit the situation. Uh, and uh, plan moves. Or oh, character moves, sorry. Uh, uh, so you get a three hold. Okay. Um, so I have three hold. Yes. Um, plus I get an additional question. Right. Three hold plus uh, you may also pick from that list of questions. That last note on that way of the wind is is incorrect because we are we are we've built uh, declare detail into under forgotten lore already. OK. So. Um... So you may ask a question. You may gain fleeting advantage yes. uh, uh, or you may declare a detail. We've got this list of questions there and on your standard move. Well, I really like the idea of fleeting advantage. Uh, on, and I'm going to say instead of casting a ritual, how about on learning one? I haven't done that yet. Okay. So I'm going to get the. So the next time you you have fictional positioning to learn a ritual, you will get ritual. advantage on that. And I assume that means kind of like making one up or does it mean learning one from someone else it means learning one from something else someone else or getting a position where oh i think we found ancient records here or okay. awesome. i'm going to listen to the voice of the dragon and it's going to teach me a ritual exactly. or something like that okay good good I just two more hold to... all right two more hold oh it's so hard this is the hardest move because you're like questions all the questions so um, may also declare a detail yes let's see here Okay. So some of these questions will be, well, I'll do this again when I get to the, the landmark, if ever we get there. So this is just sort of a, because Unearthed Forgotten Lore is about a landmark or ritual. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the, the dragon that is in you as a landmark. All right. All right. I am a walking landmark. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Sometimes you sound sarcastic and sometimes you just sound excited. <laughs> I kind of, can it be both? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, I think the first thing that it wouldn't even occur to her, like probably without even thinking, she would ask ask about its ancestors. So say which ancestors it's most tied to. Like that story of the dragon and, and that's it. Dragon, the Thunder Dragon will say that each of the peoples of the land was gifted the blessing of one of the dragons in the early days. They have no ancestors. They are born and reborn on a singular wheel. But if there are things that are offspring, it is the, the peoples that they gave their blessing to. 
And the Thunder Dragon gave their blessing to the Tengu. Ooh. One more hold. This is so hard. Yes. I think she has to ask. I'll declare it detail. Okay. That's the right answer. Yes. And uh, so I, I think that what I will say is that the Tengu do still exist. And they are the ones who have the means to start, restart his essentially this dragon's wheel essentially so absolutely all right uh let's come to to isei isei is there anything you want to do at the character level here investigation wise or checking wise either during this time uh, uh of the uh, all the guests here or uh somewhat later um, Oscar, remind me what you were saying about, uh, who the Imperial scholars, uh, ability to help in that situation. Oh, <clears throat> so, uh, that I would ask Kenta if they could help because they have significant archives. Um, and of course they can also speak with the dead. Um, so, but so that would be the resources that you might be able to get from the imperial scholars. Was that the answer? Yeah, yeah, no, that's helpful. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if that's still worth doing, given that you have a pretty solid lead with the the tango here. Well, that helps with, yeah. So you could try to track down where the tango are. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll go to the Imperial scholars um and see like what they can offer. Okay. Uh and I believe we established that uh gift of my advice is cunning. Do you want to roll that or do you want to roll this as study? I think I would rather roll with cunning. Okay. Uh then let's let's have you roll kind of uh as you go to quietly consult with the imperial scholars so. oh that is a 12 uh what what is it that like how does that work is it that you have a friend of a friend is it that you make your way into some place is that that you you talk your way around things how do you think it is that you get access mm. i think what it is is that since the last time we saw uh isei and company uh visiting with the imperial scholars and isei had that little aside with gunpei mm -hmm. i think off screen they've had several other such meetings um not really speaking about anything of consequence but it's Issei kind of doing his thing of uh slowly letting his his social tendrils his charm wrap around someone's neck until uh he can yank on it when when he really needs it uh and i think there will be uh 
that in, in just in conversation, you happen to bring up the other peoples and that'll kind of wrap around and eventually you'll get to to the Tengu, just mentioned in passing. Uh, and uh, uh, Gunpei will say, well, there are no more Tengu within the limits of the empire. They There was a disagreement, a violation of their trust by the emperor several generations ago. And the emperor took one of their blades. And after that, the Tengu, who had been great swords teachers and duelists, left and they went to the north, uh, to the deserts there. If you'll forgive me some liberties to connect some threads together here. Uh, but uh, say, and I and I don't know of anyone who has spoken with or gained an audience with them in generations. And the sword that you speak of, presumably it is one of great importance, the Tengu, one that they would like to have back were the Empire so inclined. Yes, most assuredly. But that is a story for another day. Indeed it is. Let's have another sake. Uh, Takashi, what about you? So, uh, the Takashi is not particularly good at research, <laughs> given, uh, yeah, historical context. But, Certainly. um, what I'm thinking is that Takashi would be preparing. So he knows that in one way or another, we are going to have to find the location of a dragon and he's trusting on his, on his friends to do that. But once we actually go, uh, we're going to have to go somewhere. And Takashi is intending to to join that party. Um, so what I want to do is kind of prepare in some way, shape, or form. And what I was thinking is that uh, in our previous Zoom in, Takashi lost his undercover operatives mm -hmm. that he sent out to do a job. So I would like to, uh, I, I'm trying to remember, we kind of established that they they died, right? Yes. Like, so I, I would like to recruit some new ones. Absolutely. So to, like, that's just a kind of a healing move, which I think you spend the time doing that. You can restore that. So tell me what that looks like. Like, how does Takashi recruit new operatives to, to fill his ranks? I think he's um he's he's maybe going places where people will hang out um sort of um drinking establishments and and things like that and watching people to see to find people that appear to be watching other people that appear to be kind of watching the watching the crowd more than they're drinking um and kind of uh approaches one or two of them sits down with them offers to buy them a drink gets talking and then you know i could use a a person uh, with some discretion to do work for me for time to time. Many of them are interested because there were those people who acted as as freelance spies and scouts during the the war against the foe that that with with peacetime have uh, lost a place to go and and you know 
They've had to to sell out their services to less savory clients. So I, I think there is a montage of you you picking up sort of a uh, beginning of uh, Seven Samurai style uh, uh, mm-hmm. your your team of people with uh, with some tests and uh, bringing them together. So yeah, absolutely, you can 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 regain the use of that. Uh, Dua, what about you? I think, um, I think what Dua has to be doing is, uh, going and, um, meeting with Archai to request their permission to sort of lead this expedition north, um, perhaps not directly in to advantage the clan, but to, to, um, uh to help to help to his friend here uh, to help us Oscar. that feels like fine common ground maybe yeah, trying to convince your seemed, your daimyo okay um, do has a plus one cunning I oh believe. that's good uh yep yeah, plus one and that is a five Archai says, I set you a task. And you wish to take your new friends and go running off to the northern approaches rather than building the ties that our clan so desperately needs? We, uh, I've I've been making making connections in in many of the other clans, um, and uh, show me one concrete result to a Ganbat, and you will have my A. But I need to know one concrete thing that you have done in this. I think I think Dua is giving much the same look that I'm giving right now. And he says, but if you cannot, then there is something else you can do for me. Uh, you have grandchildren. They are of a young age. The emperor has asked for children to be put into the imperial service. I'm sure that you can convince your children that one or two of their children are worth the clan's good name to be raised amongst the imperial house. The, that is a big ask. I, I, uh, I'm not sure that, um, I'm not sure what, um, what Turbish would think of me, me sending her, her grandchildren off to, to, uh, the Imperial, the Imperial city. Um, I, I will, I will see what I can do, but I, I may... Why instead... do you say that? Do you not believe in the Imperial House? Do you doubt their ability to raise these children? To give I... our clan an advantage and a position by placing them close to the Emperor? Oh, I I I believe that the Emperor will 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 raise them and, and that, that our that they will they will do our clan proud, but but Turbish is a loving a loving grandmother and and will need will need convincing. 
then you will have to go and do that convincing. Will you not? Indeed, I will. Then I don't believe there's any more need for this matter to be discussed. Plan your expedition and convince your wife. I will do that. Uh, and uh, let's uh, talk uh, clan moves, I think here actually like like let's let's look at a clan move. See if there's anything you want to do. I'm going to knock this microphone so I can make a racket. Uh, uh, see if there's anything you want to do to kind of set things up. Uh, and then I think we might be looking at uh, kind of stopping for a zoom in for next time. Does that that seem like like where we're headed? Uh, so uh, uh, Asaka, uh, what do you want to do with your client? <laughs> Just absolutely butchering it. I, I'll tell you, part of the problem is that my only foreign language study, I, I learned Spanish when I was very, very young and forgot it all. And then I studied Arabic for five years. Uh, and so a lot of my pronunciations are based around that. <laughs> Badly, though. Uh, so uh, representative of the house. Uh, uh Yes, and we we may turn to, to to L for assistance here, if if my <laughs> my my words become too painful even for my my ears. Uh, uh, so, uh, what move do I we just want seriously to do? didn't know you were talking to me? <laughs> so, so what okay. do we want? What 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 move does the crow does the crow? Azalea clan wish that to do. That's a fine question. That is. Let's see here. Um, didn't require gosh, me to gosh, 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 word. Gosh. Um, I think We always have that ability that we can teach a ritual uh, to another clan and get yes. influence on them. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that I think there's an interesting thing with with the uh, the thing that the sort of that the cult has kind of made it clear that they're still around. Mm -hmm. where it's actually a little bit advantageous to go to the other clans and say we can teach you the purity thing of course you know it it uh it will protect you from the corrupted ones and they never say it but it would also reveal anyone who was corrupted of course so um so there's that time there yeah. So, so which clan are you going to 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 speak with them about offering this for them to learn? Uh, can I volunteer? Yes, absolutely. I was like, okay, sure. Yes. For, for a couple of reasons, because it was potentially called out that the that the cult is more present in our lands than everywhere else. Um, and also because uh, I I have a surplus of respect and I'm looking for a way to pass that on to Crozelia, who has a need for respect. I, I and could I feel use like that. This is, right. this is a good way of doing that. All right. So. And and that is not a, a rolled move. Uh, it is simply <clears throat> a, a, a montage uh, of people from your clan coming to uh the 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 clan of crow azalea and learning this ritual okay now the question i have is uh, we'll probably do it like that we would request um you know essentially that you know you would invite us to 
teach this to you, the respect, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we would grant you that ability and we would just, we already have an influence on you and it would just stay there is essentially what would end up happening. It wouldn't be like another one would pop on. So. So uh, you need to, though, when you teach this ritual, Mm -hmm. uh i do need you to make a a lower roll to see how many conditions you will add to the to this ritual oh i didn't know that that's new it's it's sort of the inverse of the the learning a ritual thing here okay sure so i am just rolling a cast of like a a lower a lower roll yeah so 2d6 plus two yes please Two D6s. Here we go. I'm just gonna roll two D6 and then I add two to it. Twelve. Twelve. Uh so you need to pick one condition of the ritual that you're gonna pass on. You'll see that list there uh on the rituals page from row uh da, 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 29. Thank you for the row. Ah. Ooh, those are some interesting ones. Um, let's only, see here. You only have to teach. You have to, I'll have to add one when you right. teach it. Um, I think. Uh, let's see here because it's a um ritual of of protection Mm -hmm. um that that in the place that you are casting it and stuff you have to have um you have to conduct yourself with uh uh, what is the the word for it for uh um for like uh oh my gosh I've like lost the word for <clears throat> uh, Deco- decorum decorum yeah for the decorum of like of of um welcoming people into your home your your place so like when you're casting it that should always be like a place that's welcome to others and that sort of thing. So either it's a place that you've done that in explicitly has invited others to come um, for the protection or whatever, and that you treat them as guests. So there you go, that for And then when you cast it, you will protect that area. Uh, all right, and reasonable. that seems good and uh your your clan influence move then when you teach it right yeah i'm sorry the virtuous hospitality excuse me that i could not come up with the word for some dumb reason okay uh so then you give respect to them right Mm -hmm. okay yes okay uh, yeah, so we get that uh, established. Uh, let's next come to uh, uh, Issei and uh, Don Chrysanthemum. Uh, what clan move would you like to do? I think I would like to use my favor to uh, make a request of the emperor. Okay. Uh, let us uh, have you make a roll. So um, Issei is going to ask about that um that sword that he heard about. Um that's a 12. <laughs> What's going on tonight? It's a 12. <laughs> I'm scared for my rolls next session. Oh yeah. Uh so you are brought in to, to speak with the, the emperor and you 
emperor says, why is it that you are asking about this blade? You as well as I have seen the shadows beginning to creep up again around the edges of the empire. There is someone, a talented Shigenja, who I believe can beat those shadows back, but she needs help from the Tengu who have gone north. I'm hoping that this blade will help me find favor with them. I will gift the blade that you require and put it into your hands. But there is a price to be paid. It is necessary in the next few years that the imperial family be cemented. The glue that it will require, the cement that it will need, are people like yourselves marrying into the new imperial family. I am not saying it is necessarily you, but if it is not you, then you will find me someone of equal station. I will. And the blade will be delivered to you. He say gives a very deep bow of gratitude uh, that sort of conceals the utter relief on his face. Excellent. Uh, Takashi, uh, clan move? Uh, pres presuming that this is in line with what the Emperor expected, or the Empress expected, Ghost Iris would like to move troops into the uh, Shadow Valley and establish a garrison there. So that that seems... that sounds like a is that a is that a claim by force move? I think. Let me take a look at the the clan moves here. Are you putting a surplus to work to do this? Uh, and and let me be, tell you what I mean by that is one of the fact one of the things in uh, uh, the uh, legacy game that I consider as an option here is you can take a surplus and put it in place and lock it in there. But if something goes wrong there, you'll potentially lose the surplus. But that would just be a logistics role rather than mm -hmm. a claim by force. It's up to you. Um, I'm tempted to to lock morale into it because I think that that kind of works. Uh, that this is a this is a big thing for the absolutely energize the, your people, the send them there. Yeah. It, well, it would, the other the other thing, yeah, is that we we don't have to roll logistics for marshal supplies. So I don't know whether or not morale would count as a marshal supply Perfect. under those circumstances. That, that that is the chain of moves that you need to do. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so what? How how is it done? Is it is it that you rally the people to to do this, or or like what what do you think that that represents? 
yeah, I think it is it is a a point of great pride for the clan to be asked by the emperor to defend something, to mm-hmm. protect something. That is our that is our our raison d'etre, really. That's that's our our core. Um, so yeah, the, rather than because so many of the families potentially lost people during the 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 previous conflict, I think that our clan leadership and again leading into the fact that she is she is kind and clever she will ask for volunteers so it, it won't be a specific family or a specific clan everybody has the opportunity to contribute i think that sounds perfect uh and dua what do you want what to do with moves for your clan yeah, so I think um, we're gonna follow up on the the sort of prep work with Eternal Sakura last time and trade one of our one of the our influence over them for some of their um, where did they go? I was just looking at them. Uh, they have a surplus of something. Oh, they have a surplus of fortifications and scholars. Well. And they need rice. That doesn't actually work that well. Uh, I was I was going to use influence to take a surplus and then essentially uh, use that uh, convert that surplus to trade as a way of capturing that. Um, you know, finally finally integrating the um, the borderlanders with more of the sort of internal internal clans, building up that that trade network. Um, I'm not sure that either of their surpluses convert nicely to trade in a in a logical yeah, I'm not, way. So not I'm, sure I'm, how that would work. Yeah. I I was misreading and was like seeing their rice as a as a surplus, not a need. Oh, and okay. That was that was gonna work better uh fictionally. Um so hmm. Well. could try and uh, uh perhaps uh, i'm i'm going to do a similar thing okay um, but i'm actually going to call on um our old friends ghost iris um and uh i think i think we're going to attempt to um bootstrap our our trade network with their coin um so you wish to expand an influence and ask them to turn coin over to you? Yes. What is your reaction to that, Ghost Iris? Hmm. I'm tempted to allow it, but I've already just lost a surplus. <laughs> and then locked another one away. So I think I will... Res- <laughs> I think I will resist it. Okay. Uh, then uh, you will roll hold together uh, with advantage. Uh, with advantage. Which hold together is a move with mood, right? Yes. And then because I have locked that morale up, does that impact my mood for now? Does it reduce it? Uh, no, it's only if it gets lost. It's just tied to that. If something bad happens there, then you will lose that. Okay. Does the favor, does the disadvantage from the favor imbalance, that, like, does the, does Ghost Iris's move that gives them advantage all the time just, like, trump the, the disadvantage from my favor being higher? Or is it, um, Oh. What's the interaction there? Uh, they will I negate. Uh, so that should be a, a straight roll. So a straight, straight roll. roll. Yeah. All right. Let me re-roll it. That's an 11. Still an 11. Uh, right. uh, so, you stand proud. Yeah. Uh, so you are brought together by the trial. Uh, uh uh, you need to pick one of those things, but you gain surplus morale. 
uh, which you can change into another uh, a surplus. Okay. Um. I'll say another clan off action came through to help us out. Okay. I'll give them an influence. Who who is gaining influence who... for kind of stepping in? That feels a bit cheap because I can more easily resist <laughs> other people using influence on me, but um does anybody particularly want influence over Costaris? You can also give it to an NPC clan. Yeah, I was just thinking that as well. Um... Yeah, okay. I, I will give it to uh, Eternal Sucker because we've just had a... They, they, they feel like they're going to be entangled in the story. Right, uh, and you know, they've had have some problematic things occur. Uh, so I think there is that pushback on the the treaties. You demand the coin, and again, remember what it, what it is is basically there have been agreements, there have been things, and then you try to use that leverage. And there's that push back and forth that comes, and and uh, arguments in the courts, and you know, so eventually those things get get settled out. But but it creates though that level of tensions. I think the last thing that we're going to see today is Issei, you are delivered a ebony sword box uh and when you look inside you will see there is a blade there it has no sheath but it is both the hilt and the pommel and the blade itself are dark blue purple and the sort of pattern that you would see when you look closely at the blade for the layering of the metal look like feathers and it is the most beautiful blade that you have ever seen and your heart aches to think that you have to give this to someone else. Does that sound reasonable, Issei? That sounds great. <laughs> and <laughs> that is that is where we are going to, to leave off uh, today. Uh, I would like to do uh, a quick... Uh, stars and witches certainly our plan for next time is we'll probably go to a zoom in quickly and then maybe we'll be looking at at getting a surplus delivered uh and and you know uh wrapping the the age up uh sherry can i start with you you are muted so oh man okay so no i'm not muted so but i'm still going to try not to be a complete word salad um person today um this was lovely I, the all of the zoom ins all the conversations all the cold scenes were were really lovely and um i just love how we're each spelling our doom and breaking our hearts so consistently um big points to you for lol for just putting the spikes in where we ourselves failed to put them in, but I think we were all doing a good job on that. So, um, yeah, so many tears to flow. So I'm really enjoying this. Really good stuff. And oh my God, having to take, send your grandchildren to the Imperial Court, the worst law. <laughs> oh, uh, anything wishes wise? Ah, uh, um, Gosh, I don't know. I am like this next zoom in. I am giddy for the possibilities of how this is going to go down. This is it's like sort of um, epic and super personal at the same time. 
in a really, really great way. So, so good. Awesome. L stars wishes. Yeah. Um, I, I totally agree. All of the, uh, the zoomed and scenes and the kind of personal stakes, uh, the session were really cool. Um, I really enjoyed seeing Takashi trying to sort of stake his loyalties in the least like socially destructive way, um, which is maybe not his strong suit, but I think he, I think he did pretty well, <laughs> but I was sweating a little bit during that scene for him. Um, I thought it was great. Um, I really enjoyed seeing Dua's home for the first time and Kale, the way you described uh, the scene and uh, like kind of uh, established the sort of hominess and the, the like the internal dynamics of, of your clan um, was really cool. Um, for Sherry, I really liked the detail of the gossipy Kami on the island. Um, and I really enjoyed playing our, our little scene in the tea house. Um, and Lola, yeah, thanks for making space for all of those scenes and for adding uh, your little twists of the knife. Um, and for wishes, there's like a little gremlin inside me that's telling me to do shenanigans with the blade because we do have lots of artisans. They could probably make a pretty nice copy. Um, but I think Issei also really cares about this going well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if he would allow that. I'll have to think about that. Okay. <laughs> but we'll a see. Absolutely fair. Yeah. Uh, Mike? Um. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this session. I feel like all of the characters have matured a little bit. It feels like everybody's like just moved on a little bit, um, but especially a star on that to um, to Sherry for the, the change in As Asuka this session. She felt like somebody that something serious had happened to and um, and was not necessarily struggling to deal with that, but more kind of, you know, processing still and figuring out how to move forward um and i really enjoyed that um i also had a staff for the gossipy kami um i thought that was a that was a fantastic detail um i also love seeing Dua's family and, and home life um and i particularly liked having him track mud into isei's house because i just thought that was <laughs> that was a fun detail um uh, for, i absolutely love the the scene between isei and asuka in the tea house um it was beautiful it was heartbreaking it was all the all the things that you kind of want to see in the in the middle of a story, um, and the the bright path dueling school that was a that was a highlight. I think we've had two dueling schools now, at least that I can remember, and I've loved both of them so far. So, um, and then all the uh, all of the dragon lore this this uh, session felt like uh, that that was great. I absolutely love that, and I particularly love the tangle that seems to be developing between Issei and Asuka where it's sort of like they, they can't they want to be together but they can't really be together and then now there's a way that they can be together but the cost of that is that they can't be together again it just <laughs> it feels um delightfully difficult to undo uh and I look forward to seeing what happens there in terms of wishes, I wish I could be here next week. Um, oh, next week right. is the one session that I said I would not be here for. So, because I'm traveling. Okay. <laughs> well, we will we will keep that in in mind, uh, uh, and you'll be here in spirit, Takashi. I hope your trip goes well. Uh, and uh, Kale. Yeah. Um, I had um, in my notes, but the, the uh, L. I, I had you had a couple of um like really nice descriptive things both you know the sort of um setting the scene in uh the the Don chrysanthemum holding um early on um and then also with the the dueling school um and then both you and sherry the the scene between your two characters was um was great um mike i i enjoyed the um the yeah, uh, Takashi's sort of mercantile mercantilism uh, mercantilist ap approach to sort of thinking through the problem um, in the middle of the session, um, and then also that just just at the end, the like uh, the the little clan level back and forth was fun. 
uh, between the two of us. Um, and Lowell, of course, like they, I mean, the, yeah, the, the twists, uh, the twists are great. Um, just, just to add, add a little bit of edge to, to everything is, um, has been, has been a lot of fun. Um, wishes wise. I guess the thing I'm, 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 I am looking forward to sort of the age ending and sort of getting that kind of transition, the, like a bit of a larger scale transition and just sort mm -hmm. of seeing that play out. Oh, I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, just as a reminder about things, we will be playing next week. We will not be playing on the 21st because that is the week of Thanksgiving, which is like the one holiday that we do uh, uh, for the family. But we will be playing again on the 28th. So just to, to note the schedule for that. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording.